Hi again to another episode of www.rei/tv. I'm Nick Sifoni. Thanks again for coming. Sorry about the little April Fool prank yesterday. I just <laughs> couldn't help myself, to be honest with you. I thought it was funny. I hope you got a kick out of it too. Today is newbie two, newbie Wednesday. I guess I tricked myself yesterday. Today is Wednesday, but I'm going to keep talking to the newbies for today. And really for anyone, it's had a little bit of fear keeping them from doing deals. You know, fear and faith are really the opposite. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the psychology of investing and overcoming your fears so you can take the steps forward that you need to do. You know, nothing great is ever, is ever easy, and it always takes a little bit of, of a leap of faith to, to accomplish. And... Um, so I'm kind of talking to you investors out there who haven't done a deal yet, who want to do deals, who have trained and studied and just haven't ever done a deal. That's kind of who I'm talking to today. Those of you that know you know this business, you know you can do it, you have the tools to do it, you've had the education to do it, you're just a little scared. And, and, and really everybody's been there. One thing I kind of had in my, going, in my advantage, my shrink told me that I have a risk-reward conundrum personality disorder. So... Basically, I dig the risk. I, I like being in between a rock and a hard place. If you ask me that, I wouldn't tell you so, but that's what he says. So, and anyways, that's a whole <laughs> that's a whole other story. But you know, I sat next to a woman not too long ago at a real estate investing seminar, and she told me she had spent over forty thousand dollars on investing education. She had every book you could think of, every tape you could that was ever made, not literally, but almost. She could teach me the business, she knew so much. And I'd ask her questions, well, you know, what about this, what about that? She knew it, she knew it all. And I said, why haven't you ever bought a house? She said, well, I've never been in, had the opportunity. And I said, well, why didn't you put an ad in the paper? And her response was, I was afraid somebody might call. And I said, but that's what we do, don't let fear stop you. Um, you know, write yourself a script, and when they call, just follow the script, and you might end up buying a house. And her exact words then were, well, I was afraid if I bought a house, I wouldn't know how to get rid of it. So that's who I'm talking to today. I'm talking to the folks who, um, you've got some education, you really want to do this business, but for some reason you haven't pulled the trigger. Fear and faith, they're the opposites of one another. Either you've got the faith that you're going to achieve, or you've got the fear that you won't. And you're all, they're always going to overlap. Let's be serious. Deep down in your heart, you do believe you can do this, don't you? If you didn't believe you could do it, would you be on this call right now or on the, watching this show right now? Would you be spending your time learning about the business if you truly didn't believe it's something you can do? If I can do it, you can do it. I have met people, I have met investors that you wonder how they do deals, but they do deals. And the reason they do is because they raise their hand and maybe they're too dumb to be afraid. But in any case, they learn the business. Now, to help you along a little bit, here's what I suggest you do. These are some ways to overcome fear. Have a mentor. Now when I say a mentor, it doesn't mean you have to pay some guru to mentor you. You don't have to join a high-priced coaching program. You could ha your mentor could be a, a real estate investor that you met at your local real estate club, that you struck a good, you know, you kind of got along with them when you first met them, and maybe you asked them, you know, I'm kind of new in the business, do you mind if I give you a phone call every now and then and ask you a question? If you call the guy once a week for 10 minutes, he probably won't care. Another way to handle it, meet somebody that's doing deals in your area and just ask him, you know, I get good deals that come across my desk, but I'm not sure if they're always good. I'm looking to do my first deal. When I come up with a good one, would you mind if I gave you a call and ran it by you? And I tell you what, if it's something that sounds good, maybe we can do the deal together and we can split it. I'll do the work. I just want to be able to call you and ask you questions. There's a lot of investors out there that will take you up on it. A lot of them will tell you, you know what, I don't need any money. Somebody helped me when I first started out. I'll gladly help you out. So give me a call. It could be a realtor that works with investors. It can be, it could be a guy that, you know, it could be a, t a landlord who owns a handful of houses or apartment buildings that's just been around the block a few times and knows how the business works. It could be a mortgage lender. Funding, money is a huge part of this business. Nobody knows the mortgage business better than mortgage lenders. It could be a hard money lender. The key, though, is to get out there. Don't sit in your office or sit in your living room thinking about all the problems that can go wrong. You've got to network. If it wasn't for networking, I wouldn't be in this business. I went to as many real estate investment clubs as I could, and, and I got to meet people. And slowly over time, 
All of a sudden, I knew the business. And, and you're always learning. But you got to not be afraid. Again, it's fear again. you got to not be afraid to get out there, reach out, shake somebody's hand, and get to know them and ask them some questions. Um, another great idea is a mastermind group. I would not be successful in this business. Actually, the group that I, my first my first, the first, when I first got into real estate investing, I was part of what's called the Mentor Mastermind. And it's a Chicago-based group run by, and I, I've said his name on the show before, David Culver. He was my original mentor. And I paid him, and he taught me the business, and here I am. I've done great ever since. And if any of you want a, a mentor to work one-on-one -on -one with individually on anything, if you're in the Chicago area, you know, click on comments up above, and I'll give you Dave, Dave's phone number. If he could teach me the business, he could teach anybody. Believe me, I was a piece of work when I first started. Um, but in any case, and I shouldn't maybe say this, but we're going to be, when we have the official launch of the site, I know I've been talking about it for a while, but I want to make sure everything's right. I'm going to offer a small group of people to be into mastermind groups that I'm going to run. I'm going to have a couple small groups of around 20 people each, and we're going to get together once a month uh, through teleseminar, we might even get together live a couple times a year and, and shake hands and have a meal together and, and really discuss each other's business. But try to get into a mastermind group somewhere with other investors that you can talk to once a week or once a month, that you can run questions off of, that you can bounce things off of each other. There's nothing that has helped me more in my business, and I can say this without a shadow of a doubt, nothing has helped me more in my business than mastermind groups and talking to other investors. So get involved with one, get involved with one today. Don't wait for ours. If you want to get involved in mine, then I'll be running. That's fine too. Hang out there for a few more weeks. But get involved with the mastermind group somewhere, especially if you're new. Because sometimes you just need a pat on the back to tell you it's okay and a kick in the butt to tell you to go do it. So you're not so afraid. Don't let fear overwhelm you. The deals you want to do, do wholesale deals. Do bird dogging. Do option deals. There's no risk with those. When you do an option deal, you find a pretty house at a good price, you get an option to buy it. You don't have to buy it. You tell the seller right up front, Mr. Seller, I may never buy this house. I'm just going to get an option on it so I can buy it if I want and tell them the truth. Mr. Seller, I'm going to go try to find somebody else to buy it for me for a little bit more. And I'm going to go to bed at night thinking about your house. I'm going to wake up in the morning thinking about your house. And everything in between is going to be me finding a buyer for your house to buy it for me when the time comes. But I might never buy it. So don't get your hopes up too much. What are you risking? Maybe you give them 50 bucks as an option deposit or 100 bucks or 10 bucks or whatever it is. But what have you risked? Nothing. And you haven't risked your integrity because you told them up front, I may never buy the house. Same thing with the wholesale deal. If you're wholesaling, now typically when we're wholesaling, we don't tell the seller we're going to go find someone else to buy it from us. But you could if you're afraid of having to go back to that seller and tell them, you know what, I'm not going to buy it. You could tell them that. If you're dealing with the right sellers, they don't care what you told them as long as you're trying to help them out of their problem. But wholesaling, what risk do you take? If you don't find somebody to buy the house, you walk away from the deal. No harm, no foul. What are you afraid of? Sometimes the only thing to fear is fear itself. And I know that's, that's a, you know, an old slogan or something like that, but it's the truth. Nothing to be afraid of. Even short sales, you've got nothing to be afraid of. You're telling the seller again up front. I'm going to try to work with the bank to get it cheap enough so we can buy it, or so me or my partners can buy it, or whatever it might be. Mr. Seller, if the bank won't work with us, if we can't get it cheap enough, we're not buying it. So what have you got to lose? Don't let that fear overwhelm you. Do wholesale deals. Do option deals. Maybe do short sales. They're a lot of work. Bird dog for other people. Be up front with people. If you got a good deal, find somebody to partner with you. I've even been known to do it. I mean, I don't want, maybe I shouldn't say that. I don't want 200 you know, emails tomorrow asking me to split deals with you. But if it's the right deal and you come to me and say, Nick, I'll split it with you if you coach me through it. If it's the right deal, I'll look at it, you know. But I would suggest don't, don't come to me. Come to, like I said before, find the realtor in your area that might work with you and coach you along a little bit. Everybody in this business got some help when they first started. Most of us are willing to help you if you need a little bit of help down the road, okay? So, one deal turns into two, two deals turns into three, but you gotta do that first one. Concentrate just on one type of deal then. You know, don't, don't look for sub two deals, especially don't look for sub two deals and don't look to do a rehab if you've never done a deal before, if you're at all nervous, because those are things you could, that can cost you some money and you can lose money in. 
just say I'm going to do a wholesale deal for my first one or I'm going to do an option deal for my first one, like I said, and concentrate on that. You can do this business. If I can do this business and a thousand other people could do this business, you can do the business. Turn your fear into faith. Wake up every morning and say, yes, I can. I have a little thing right here. And I read this twice a day. I read it first thing in the morning, and I read it before I go to bed at night, and it has my goals on here. I desire to, and I will soon earn X. I don't want to tell you X. It's a little weird. Per day. I will work diligently using my time and efforts wisely in exchange for this level of income. By June 1st, this will be a reality. And then when I hit that goal, I change the number and I make it higher. I read that to myself every morning and every night, and it sits in front of my computer all day long. Don't be a chicken. A little BS for you. Go make an offer. You got nothing to lose. The only thing to fear is fear itself. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for our mastermind group starting at our kickoff. I'll see you next time.